Hey y'all, how's it going? Customer came by today to pick up his knife with his girlfriend. Uh, didn't quite catch her name, but it was Albert Salard came down, picked up the chef knife, the Damascus chef knife, ladder pattern, uh, and his axe and his camp knife. So, yeah, it was really nice to meet him. He's a nice chap. He brought me five little cutting discs as well. I <laughs> really appreciate it, mate, if you're watching. Thank you. Um, I've just finished the video for the pizza oven uh, and I wanted to show you the dough I made then I wanted to show you cooking the pizza and then I wanted to show you the oven well I've been filming it this week and there's just so much footage and I can't cut it down any more than I've cut it down so I was, I did intend to put it in one video, but it would have been getting on for, you know, hour and a half, two hour video, I don't know. So I thought it's probably going to be better to split it into three sections. The first one where I'm going to make the dough, the dough I make. The second one will be cooking the pizzas and explaining how I fuel the oven and how it works. And then the last one will be just looking at the oven like a forensic look at it and see how it works if you so if, so if you wanted to build it you can build it um, then if you don't want to know about the dough you can you, you know you know you get it don't you so this anyway this is the first video um, on just making the dough and tomorrow I'll try and get up the next one which is cooking the dough I cook a, a garlic bread and two pizzas on it and then the last one, which will be probably the day after, will be uh, looking at the oven and the basics and bones of it. Anyway, so here we go. So let's make it a dough. The flour I use is that. Caputo. Pizzeria. It makes great dough. And it is double O. So this recipe is for eight pizzas. For eight dough balls, it's one, two, four, seven grams of flour, 761 grams of water, one and a half grams of yeast. That is it. Um, what I've done, I've cut that recipe in half here to make four dough balls. If you want to make two dough balls, cut it in half again. I don't know what it is in any other language. That's what it is in grams. So I just weigh everything, weigh the flour, weigh the water, weigh everything. I take about half a cup full of flour and I mix the yeast with it. And the whole recipe is one and a half grams of yeast. So it's kind of about three quarters of a spoonful for half the recipe. Yeah. And I mix that yeast with the flour. Okay, the next step is to add the water to a bowl. If you haven't got a mixer, then you're kind of going to have to do this by hand, which is what I used to do. So about half of the flour, I'm just going to chuck in there. Just leave it a bit left. Put it in the mixer. The salt is about a tablespoon. Uh, sorry, there's about a teaspoon of salt in this. So. I meant to put actually put that in the water guys so not to worry we'll just drop it in there and I'll set that to a mixing when I can tilt it yeah I know it's not a dough hook but I just prefer using this kind of cake mix thing because it mixes it so much better just gonna let that spin up for a while get it nice and creamy Now I will put my cup full of yeast and flour mix in. Ok 
Okay, so it's had about a minute and a half. Now I'm going to have to put the rest of the flour in now. Actually, I just want to keep a little bit of that flour back there. I'll show you why. Well, let's see how far we can, we can mix this. It won't do too much. We'll just combine it a little bit. And that's about all she's going to do. So, come on fella, that's the mixer bit done with. If you pour a bit of flour in your bowl, you'll be able to get out everything. <laughs> so that's kind of how your bowl should look after. Right, this. All I do is kind of fold it just combine the last of that flour with it there isn't an awful lot of kneading kneading needed with this dough it's quite easy to do so you don't have to stand here for you know 15 20 minutes trying to knead it So I'm just going to put it into a bowl like that. Put it into there. Cover it with a cloth. Bit of moisture. Stop the dough drying out. And I will leave it now for 10 minutes. You can just see how much it's relaxed now, that dough. So all I'm gonna do is stretch it out. As I say, you don't really need to do much kneading with this dough. So I'm gonna stretch it out, roll it out. See how soft and gloopy it's gone, really nice. Put it back in the container for another 10 or 15 minutes. A little bit of olive oil in the bottom. And some olive oil on the top. So I'm going to stick the lid on there. I'm not going to snap it down. Don't really want it airtight. And that will go in the fridge now until tomorrow. So it's sort of six in the evening now and I'll pull that out about two to three hours before I, I'm actually ready to use the dough. It's so cold outside I'm just going to put it in the forging room. <laughs> it was around minus one, minus two here last night. Everything frozen solid this morning. I've just brought it in. You can see it's risen overnight and she's quite stiff. The patient is stiff doctor. She needs a massage. So all I do, because that is for four dough balls. So I'm just going to divide it. There we go. Done. Right, so just got to form this into a ball. It's quite stiff, as I say, because it is freezing cold. That I'm 
You look at the texture on that dough now. So there we go. Okay, just some greaseproof paper. Some olive oil. Nice coating of oil. Okay, so let's see how much they rise. It's not airtight, but it's just, it is what it is. Okay, let's make some pizzas. So this is what has happened to the dough balls in the last sort of four hours. So we'll start pushing the dough out. Let's get some garlic butter. That's just butter with uh, crushed garlic in it. That will do. Bit of olive oil. There we go. Right, to the oven. This mixer is barely powerful enough to do this. Got to lock it in. Oh, here we go. Oh, got this the wrong way around, guys. <laughs> That's better. 